So I know you are wondering why did we just get a random crypto bloodbath out of nowhere while stocks is going up. Technically right now, the whole crypto market is still over um, a trillion, but we're down 3%. And you see Bitcoin down 3%. Everything is down. If you was living under a rock, this would happen. Everything was cool, then bam, crash. And now we're trading sideways. That look nasty. Thing is, you zoom out, it don't look as bad as it really is. <laughs> it just look nasty. And basically, I did a video the other day where I was talking about what happened with Coinbase and Silvergate. That is actually a lot worse than what you guys actually know or expect. And the video is right here. Coinbase in their relationship with crypto bank Silvergate. And I talked about it, talk, talk about it in there. In this article, they break down reason behind the crypto market dump today. Bitcoin early Friday sell-off happened primarily due to the concerns about crypto-focused bank. Silvergate as a major crypto firm, including Coinbase, MicroStrategy, and Circle Distant from the bank. The stock fell over 50%. That means if your stock is like at $100, that means it's going to $50 in a day, which don't suppose to happen. That like happened in a year, not in a day. So you got to look. Silvergate did this to Bitcoin, mirrored it, and did the exact same. Looked like it's recovering a little bit, but it went from $13 down to $5. <laughs> like, yeah, that's nasty. According to Coinglass data, 205 million crypto loans was liquidated today with liquidations of 72 million Bitcoin loans and 40 million of Ethereum loans. So what that means is, what happens is, People sign up with my link um, on Mexi. If you guys don't have Mexi, make sure you sign up under there. And they go to trade futures. And randomly, I got some whales that signed up under mine because somebody traded like 100000 in a day the other day. Like, shout out to the whales that's on my channel. Help me out because I get like small, small percentage. I made like $12 when, uh, when, they, when they traded 100000 I appreciate it. So what happens is they were basically like, all right, look, we like Bitcoin. And we like Bitcoin that's going to go up over time. And they do less risk. And they're like, all right, we're going to do times five. And we're going to put $100,000 in here. And what we are hoping for is long term, we keep on going up. But if you bought in right here, technically, say you bought in right here, put $100,000 and put a million in right here. And you're like, look, I'm playing it safe. We just need it to keep on going up. Here go your liquidation mark would be like right here uh it's, it's like it's like not illegal it's just not fair because your liquidation mark would be right here and technically it won't crash all the way down right there it would just be a quick quick like a just a quick flash just to make sure you get liquidated and lose all your money right here then it go back up it's not fair it's not fun it's just way they just get some money back Let's see, so-and-so in a tweet on March 3rd speculated that the liquidation seen today is likely associated with the fund. Before the liquidation, a fund withdrew 312 million USDC from issue circle and transferred into crypto exchange. So it sounds like an inside job they knew it was gonna happen because, yeah, let me take my 300 million out of here. Like, come on. Moreover, the fund transfer happened after Coinbase tweeted it would no longer accept or initiate payments with Silvergate. After a brief pause, the fund again withdrew 10 million USD. So they, they would, let me know in the comments, do you think they was in on it? But you know, if you got that much money, I would be monitoring everything. And if Coinbase go and tweet something like that and I get money in it, I will possibly be scared too to keep my money in it. Can't even, can't even hold you up. Coinbase has made a strategic acquisition. Okay, I don't know which um, Coinbase it had it on, but they was talking about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I believe everything should be okay. I believe the price is going to go back up. It's going to be all right. So I think this is a good buying opportunity if you ask me. But what do I know? Talk to y'all soon.